Hello, my name is Christine Murphy, and I am the class representative for Perfect Business class. First off, I'd like to thank you all for coming here tonight. It's just unbelievable to know that me and my classmates have been going to Lila for seven whole years. It's just gone by so fast, yet we have many memories, and that's what I'll be sharing with you tonight. <coughs> Let's start off with kindergarten. First day of school, you're in a building with tons of people you don't even know. It was pretty scary. I don't know about you guys, but I got lost a lot. And just to make the situation better, we had the red and blue groups where we switched classes every day. And the teachers talking Spanish. I didn't know that much Spanish. I was usually like, wait, what does agua mean again? First grade was really fun too. We got a hash of chicks in our classroom, which was an awesome experience. Besides the fact I actually saw a chick hatch from the egg, turns out they're not all cute and fluffy when they hatch. I was really grossed out and did not eat lunch that day. Also, the butterflies were really cool. Like when they laid eggs, they were really small, and I think they were light blue. That might just be my imagination. So, let's go on to second grade. We learned how to use our money wisely. We had to save up money so we could go see like one or two movies and buy treats. Some people were even caring enough to lend their friends some of their money if they didn't have enough to go see a movie. That shows that Lila is a caring community. In third grade, we had Mr. Cristobal come in to teach us how to do some dance moves. And may I say, I'm impressed of how good third graders are at dancing at Lila. Fourth grade was one of my favorite years because I was in the double class where we had an average of 50 kids throughout the year and two teachers. It was so fun to see the ways that Perfect Kendra and Senorita Chelsea collaborated to make that year so fun. Especially when we had 52 Cent and Mickey Minaj come in and rap for us and they rapped about figurative language. And we had the wrestlers come in and teach us about numerators and denominators for fractions. And here we are in fifth grade. It was a weird transition for me because we had the double classroom, we had two classroom spaces. Now we only had one and it felt really small and cramped. I was like, wow, I'm never going to get used to this small space. Of course I did like the third week of school, but back to the story. One of my favorite memories when, was when we had the wax museum and just to see how well the kids memorized their speeches. And here we are right now in sixth grade, our last year of Lila. I have more great memories from this year than I do of any others, especially when my class and a couple other kids from the other classes participated in an event called We Scare Hunger, where we collected 847 pounds of food, and when we, were, when we did We Are Silent, where we collected $2,030 about. And of course, we donated all of that stuff to organizations. That's something, it's just, it was an incredible experience, and I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Also, as all of you know now, we were in the annex for the cave because it was underground. It was, classrooms were really small, and we had 30 kids in our class. It was like, it was really cramped most of the year. At the beginning of the year, we had desks for every kid, and they were all in rows. We didn't have enough room to have a rug in our class for our morning meeting, huh? Now we're here at the end of the year, where we have up to four people sharing one desk, and that made us have enough space to have one couch, three comfy chairs, and a carpet, and a rug to do our morning meeting on. We also have a little room in the back that we call the round table room, because there is a table shaped like a circle. Go figure. Um, there's a bathtub in that one that's filled up with pillows and blankets, which is really cool. I like it a lot. And we cannot forget about our class pet bunny, Hop, who likes to eat our shoes, math books, just books, furniture, and our computer cables. He also does backflips sometimes. But there is one thing that is more important than Hop. It's the kids and the teachers. It's just amazing to see how we used to be little kindergartners who knew almost no Spanish, and now we are full fluent Spanish sixth graders. It's just awesome. I hope you all have a great evening, and thank you for listening.